So, you've been watching all these videos uh, of people living van life and uh, you see all these idyllic settings, backdrops, experiences, uh, you know, things that uh, seem unattainable or unreachable at this point. Uh, yeah, there's a whole gamut of uh, things that happen out here and this is one of the realities of, um, of van life. Uh, what happened was for Janet and I is about six weeks ago our inverter uh, we plugged it into shore power and for some unknown reason it uh, didn't like it and subsequently burned out. I got a hold of Renergy and they uh, went through a a process with us and uh, indicated that yeah there was a problem and uh, more or less indicated that it wasn't uh, repairable because I was asking for uh, instructions if there was internal fuses that I could change or uh, replace if I took it out so they uh, subsequently said ah, they will refer this to Amazon so uh, I waited for about uh, three days and finally I see a, a letter in my uh, email and what it said was, uh, Amazon has said this is off warranty. We purchased it in December, but because of COVID, we didn't actually install and activate it until October. And so with all the paperwork and that, they uh, kicked it back, punted it back to Renogy and said, no, it's a little disappointing that uh, Renogy seemed to indicate that there was a problem created a situation of false hope because why would they go to Amazon if it wasn't for a replacement to be sent to us only to have Amazon dictate to them what their policy is now I'm in a situation where I could look for a different unit because I'm not uh, overly impressed with their uh, commitment to their product but any savings that I would have would be uh, offset because I would have to now uh, uh, create a new footprint, wiring uh, cables, or uh, you know, uh, for hooking it up again. So I have been put in a situation where I'm going to replace it with the same one that uh, Renergy uh, didn't replace, or uh, you know, didn't uh, give me more help on. But anyway, that's what I'm doing today. So, like I said, we've been six weeks without power, and it's kind of an inconvenience because. Uh, the, the, the time frame was extended uh, in part uh, waiting for a, a response that was uh, in, in the end uh, just a, a letdown. So anyway, what we have here is, uh, as you know, my, my inverter is here and I have to access it from up above. So I open this and what I do is I lift the mattress up to here. I support it up against the cabinetry on both ends, so I'll start from this end, I'll put it up, then I'll go in on the other side, and I'll put it up. And then there's two panels in here that I can totally take out and access this inverter. Once it's accessible, then I have to go through the process of disconnecting all the power with the shutoffs. So the, the, like here, this is the, the shutoff for the uh, solar panels to the MPPT and I'll have to turn all that up because once I start disconnecting batteries in here with the uh, shutoffs uh, you're not supposed to have energy going into the MPPT without it being hooked up to the batteries the batteries activate it anyway that's what I'll do now Okay, like I said, I've taken out the one panel, and uh, now there's another back one here. Okay, so here we are. 
all the components. Now I'll have to uh, disconnect this and all the power and I just want to make sure that uh, everything is properly uh, disconnected because if not I could be lit up like a Christmas tree and uh, it's a little early for that so I will uh, try and uh, just show what I'm doing here and uh, hopefully everything goes without any uh, complications or interruptions or uh, power surges okay here we go before I turn off the power I'm uh, with a voltmeter going to the uh, the terminals on the inverter and just seeing where I have uh, uh, voltage I've checked it and uh, there is voltage there and I just want to make sure that when I do the disconnect that the voltage is dropping off to zero so that if I should inadvertently uh, touch something that I uh, you know shouldn't and ground something out that I'm not going to be the Christmas tree so oh, <laughs> Janet laughed <laughs> Janet laughed she says oh I want to see I that not yeah to... yeah should, should I, I go get your hand stand on end <laughs> yeah my hair well there wouldn't be much hair standing on end <laughs> so I'll uh, I'll kill the power here and just check again and uh, uh, if everything is uh, uh, zeroing out on me for the voltage I know I'm good to go and I'll pull this one out put the other one in so here we go and survey says I don't know if these things can hold a residual power yeah see I'm getting it right there So across those terminals, uh, oh, 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 okay, it's not much. It's 1.5 volts, which on a 12 volt system, yeah, yeah, 1.5, 1.6. So there must be residual power in these. You know, the, uh, there there must be some type of I don't know. Maybe you guys could tell me transformer or something in here that uh, would uh, give that indication. And I'm going off the battery terminals here just to make sure that shut off is working. Yeah, it's the same thing, 1.3. 1.3. So I'll uh I'll just be careful and uh not touch anything I shouldn't. So for all intents and purposes, I guess this thing is discharged. Uh I was told uh to uh if you want to discharge these things to leave it for a minimum of 10 minutes. I was going through a process where I didn't know if there was an internal fuse in this when it first blew and I'm gonna take this apart I'm gonna take this apart with my grandson he likes stuff like this and I'm gonna take this apart and just see if there is an internal fuse that uh, because there was mention of it in literature uh, and I, I never came across it where it was available to the consumer to change should it uh, be the issue at any rate uh, yeah, so anyway, you uh, discharge them in, in some cases, totally discharge them, and then when you put the power back to them, it resets the, the breaker or fuse or w whatever they have uh, uh, incorporated in these things, and it wakes them up, but uh, I wasn't that lucky, so that's why I'm changing it. It's, uh, it, it's dead to any type of uh, uh, troubleshooting that the consumer can do at this level, so whatever is wrong now is inside but uh, I'll be checking it out because uh, you know what they say inquiring minds want to know and uh, uh, it, and if there is a fuse that I can see in there I'll see if uh, I can uh, do a resistance on it and if it's changeable I'll change it and see if uh, I if I was to use battery cables and put the power back to this thing if it wake up so uh, I just want to know okay let's get at her I am. I'm gonna disconnect uh, all the stuff here. I've got. Uh, I've already got the solar panels uh, disconnected. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it says they're disconnected. I'm still showing. Oh, yeah, zero watts. Oh, okay. So now, yeah, you can see here, still showing zero watts. Well, yeah, off. Uh, and that's only lit up because it's being fed by the battery. Now, when I uh, kill this big battery switch right here, that should go out. So I'll kill that last because I believe I'm going to lose all of my lights out here. 
Uh, I don't know if the ones on the inside, yeah, they should all go out. I, I think everything is off because the 12 volt is disconnected too from there. So anyway, this one first. This one is for the, uh, uh, right here is for this uh, DC to DC charger coming from the house battery. So I don't want to get any, uh, you know, unexpected current from places I'm not expecting. Okay, so that's off. And I think this will shut the lights out. Oh, where are we here? Yeah. Yeah, everything's out. Yeah, hopefully it'll, uh, I'll set up my other camera on the other end. I don't know how much we'll actually be able to see here. But uh, at any rate, I'll, in fact, uh, yeah, I think that I'll leave that on just for a second. Just so that I have a little bit of light in here. Uh, that way I can get to these bolts down below. It, it, it's nothing that's connected to uh, power. It's just holding the, uh, the uh, inverter in. So uh, I'll, I'll take those out and then I'll shut the power off. So if, uh, if I don't remember that, could you uh, tell me? <laughs> okay, this is, this is kind of funny. I didn't put this in and so to take it out I now have different tools so what I'm missing is a long extension for this to get into these areas so I have to use a smaller one and uh, I guess just put up with it or I could have uh, put in a larger extension in my drill and just but I'm not here today so bear with me. Of course, another important thing is here, I gotta remember to keep all of these screws organized because I only have what I have. That's, uh, you know, as I'm taking it out, it's not like I say, oh, I'm missing a screw and go get another one out of my uh, uh, screw bin, so. Yeah, when I get these out, what I'll do, as I said earlier, I will go and uh, what did I say earlier yeah I'll turn the power off thanks for reminding it see <sighs> having a having a senior moment they happen more frequently it seems got to keep all well you know there's a lot of components in these uh, you know, when you're doing the electrical on that and if you're not careful, you could uh, ground yourself and be touching something you shouldn't be. And uh, next thing you know, you're wondering why you're skipping across the parking lot involuntarily. Right. Yeah, it'd be nice to have had a, a longer extension. I will now, knowing that, I, I think that I should have at least the... Uh, the, the quarter inch extension, a uh, quarter inch drive extension for these ratchets so that I can uh, always uh, put it in my drill. It, it just gives you that extra reach that could be very beneficial. I don't know if I can back that out with my hand now. I don't think so. Uh, see, really tight. Very tight. Yeah, and this, uh, I couldn't even use, well, screwdriver still wouldn't help by if I could put this socket on a, on a, a drive handle. Screwdriver handle. Yep, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, got the one side done. Now, the other side. I gotta save these screws. Somebody watching me here. Janet! Janet sneaking up on me. Hey. Okay. I'm filming from the front. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, I don't want a camera behind me. That wouldn't be a good picture. Okay, one screw left. One screw loose. Says, says the peanut gallery. Those screws have got such a sharp edge on them. They're, they're not a screw, they're a bolt. That uh, even when they're getting loose, I can't back them out with my hand because it just feels like it wants to cut my hand. Okay, all done. On to the next thing. They just fit. They changed the studs on this, uh, on the on the battery uh, side yeah. for the, the for the terminals going in. It, it went from uh, a 10 millimeter bolt to a half inch, and I the bolt I think was a little bit, or the studs a little bit bigger with the half inch. So I was uh, I was not sure that that darn thing would actually work. So you're filming? Yeah. Why are you talking to me then? Get to work. Get to work? Yeah. Yeah, this RJ11, that's what I, I'm hooking our thing into, but I don't know how I would use the other one. I thought that I got a better one with what we hooked up there, but uh, Oh, geez, I shouldn't hook this up. Uh, I, I might be wrong. It's been known to happen. What? You can admit that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Now, now the hard part. How do you get those damn bolts on that terminal? This should be good for some cursing. I don't know if Randy took that whole thing off. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Lost my screw already. Ah, you son of a gun. Jeepers. Okay, so anyway, I had a problem here where I can't hold them in the socket and uh, uh, start the bolts. So I've got one of these uh, magnetic uh, picker-uppers. And what I'm doing is I'm laying the bolt on it flat, putting it down, and starting it that way. It's not what I would have uh, considered, but hey, you know what, when it works, it's like uh, an extra set of hands. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Just like MacGyver. Figure it out.
Oh, okay, and that's the deepest one is the battery terminal. It's the furthest, it's at the bottom. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, if I had more room to take the side cover off, I could have, but uh, I have an issue here with uh, um, the, the distance between this and this. I can't put uh, a screwdriver in there. So anytime I want to take the screws off this thing, I have to use a bit put it in a, in a vice grip and then use a piece of wood to force it into the, the, the slot of the screw and then uh, back it out that way. So what I have done actually is I've taken the ones out of the top here and I won't put those back in. On either side there are screws on top and uh, that'll do for what I'm, for this application. It, it, it's not that, um, it's not that critical. It's not like they're holding anything so they're just covering it up so uh, if I make sure these two are in uh, that'll be good then I only ever have to access it from the top screws if I want to get in there just take them out so but uh, yeah this worked okay in the end now find my uh, socket here okay alrighty Okay, so those are in. Now, in theory, in theory, <laughs> in theory, it would uh, charge up, or I should be able to power it up because the battery's hooked up. But uh, I'll hook up the uh, AC in and out, and um, then there's one, uh, an RJ11 port here that I have to for my uh, my uh, meter that I have to connect and uh, that should be it so anyway I won't bore you with all the details I'll uh, wait until the startup to continue this so because I got to put all the side screws back on and these ones make sure they go in the right place and uh, then that should be it it's just a matter of securing it and uh, turning the power back on and uh, everything else should uh, just do its thing so yeah hopefully it's uh, as easy as I say okay guys so here we are with an update on this Renergy inverter it's been installed and so far it's been working the way we expected now we haven't totally tested it because we haven't plugged it into shore power and we're probably gonna do that tonight because as I pull back you can tell that uh, when I say it's a little bit later we are now in a situation where we're into the fall and uh, we've taken, you know, precautionary measures to keep the van warm. As I mentioned earlier uh, in a video, uh, we hang a sleeping bag in the window because, you know, it doesn't really uh, add a, a good thermal barrier just the way it is and the other stuff is too expensive. So this is our solution. So at any rate, uh, as it turned out at the end of the day, we never did, uh, as far as I'm concerned, get any satisfaction from Renergy. This was a uh, $900 inverter, and it didn't last that long. Uh, the only reason I replaced it was because of wiring issues, as I mentioned before. But on a go-forward basis, would I use their products? What, what do you think? Anyway. I say anyway a lot. Sorry. We are boondocking on a piece of property that uh, my daughter has, and it's gorgeous here. And I'll just kind of show you. The leaves are turning. It's the fall. It's beautiful. Into splitting wood today, getting ready for the winter, and lots of things going on. We're like a bunch of squirrels hiding our nuts. So anyway, I'll show you the pictures, uh, the scenery here. It's gorgeous. All the colors are out, and we are enjoying the scenes. We hope you're having a good fall, staying warm, because it's only going to get colder. Enjoy yourself, and if there's any other issues with this inverter, I will let you know in a coffee time. Until then, take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.